Hi, my name is Ivan Harlem and I work for CSRO Minerals. I would like to introduce you to our new online gold analyzer, or OGA. OGA has been commercialized by Gecko Systems. This analyzer is able to detect gold in process streams on a real-time basis and enables online process control. As of today, no such technology exists for gold. OGA uses X-ray fluorescence to do such analysis. Traditionally, X-ray fluorescent analysis works as follows. You need an X-ray generator, and what we use is an X-ray tube, that ge and we generate X-rays that are used to irradiate a slurry. Atoms in the slurry absorb these X-rays, get excited, and when they relax back to the ground state, emit characteristic X-rays, or X-rays of a very particular energy. Different elements emit X-rays at different energies. These X-rays are detected by a detector, and by doing a little bit of analysis, you can then report back concentrations, elemental concentrations, in this case, gold. In such a traditional setup, you can detect gold at levels, at 10 parts per million levels. This is not enough to do uh, real-time analysis of gold and slurries, because, for example, on tailings, you definitely need to be able to detect gold at par parts per billion level. So how do we push down the detection limit? Well, we do this by the usage of X-ray optics. An X-ray optic, in our case, is a crystal, and it works uh, the same way a colored magnifying lens work, works for light, but then for X-rays. So the setup is, is similar. You have an X-ray generator that generates X-rays at a lot of different energies. And then you have the first optic, which works as a lens. So it collects X-rays over a large solid angle and focus them down to a point on the slurry. And at the same time, it only does this for one particular energy. And the X-ray energy we choose is the one that excites gold atoms the best. So the atoms in the slurry are then excited. When they relax back to the ground state, they emit characteristic X-rays, which are then collected by a second lens and focused down on the detector. This second lens only focuses down gold characteristic X-rays. In this way, we increase our signal by several orders of magnitude, but also decrease our background by several orders of magnitude, because X-rays that might contribute to the background are simply not detected. So this is how we go from parts per, billion, parts per million level detection limits to parts per billion level detection limits. This here is a drawing how, how of Olga in a plant. So we have a main process stream, which could be a feed, tail, or a concentrate, and we sample it at 20 liters per minute to fill an 80 liter tank. We have a stirrer to keep the slurry in suspension, and in the middle of the tank we have mounted an X-ray window, which is a piece of plastic that's very transparent for X-rays, but also very radiation hard, meaning that it won't get damaged by the X-rays. All the X-ray equipment is mounted in front of this window so that, X, that, it, so that it's easy for the X-ray generator to generate X-rays that make it into the slurry and also it, that, it, that it's easy for characteristic X-rays to leave the slurry through the window to be detected by the detectors. On this side of the tank we have an overflow where the slurry leaves the tank and is being pumped back to the main process stream. Now a plant that has access to this online data uh, of gold concentration can do online process control by, for example, looking at uh, sudden increases in gold concentration in the tailings and act on it. Moreover, in the future, this data stream will be vital to develop um, machine learning algorithms that optimize process control. Also in the future, we want to extend this technology to other elements that, that we are not able to do yet. For example, we just finished some successful tests by measuring platinum. We will now show you a picture of Olga right before installation in the plant. Thank you.